this is working hi guys welcome to my channel today i am going to do a get ready with me night edition Definitely, this is going to be one of those simply ones because I'm going to go to my friend's house. So I don't want to be looking like a hot mess. I'm going to be looking like this and I'm going to show you guys how to look like this. Yeah! Hey guys, so we're going to start with this one product that I got in my Itsy bag. This is what it's called C from Tarte. So we're going to go ahead and work it all over. My face has been pretty clear lately. I have beauty sponges and I wet it a little bit and that creates kind of like moisture for me to like be able to move it and and kind of work with it more. So we're gonna go into, again, one of this. This product I got sent on my Ipsy and I was pretty excited about it because it, I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's light, medium, and yeah, I've been using that for a couple days now. So what I do is I dab it in my hand, dab it in my finger, and just kind of go all over. I don't think I ever did it a little bit, but it is what it is. I also was trying to do my hair straight, but you know what? Whatever. These little buns called my name. With so much foundation put in my face, I will be skipping concealer just because I think I have enough. Like, I'm just going to put most of it under here just so i could skip it and save my concealer you know so we just continue doing the little padding now before i do that i spray my sponge my beauty sponge with some coconut water mist now this is a face hydrating mist and you could get any type of mist really is just to kind of set the sponge I also recently started putting in my my nose piercing and it kind of hurt when you don't put it for a while and then you randomly shove it in there. Definitely kind of hurts. It's kind of worth it because it adds another dimension to the nose area and I don't mind it at all. Seeing this makes me think I went overboard with my base. <laughs> that if I want to get rid of some material in the face, you could totally just go with the other side of this, the beauty sponge and it'll kind of soak up some remaining. So that's how you see how it's picking up a little bit. See here, I have a lot, a lot of takes off a little bit of that excessive foundation that I placed on my face. Okay, so I think my foundation is okay. I do not need any concealer. We went over the foundation. We do not need any concealer. We just need to make sure that this color and this color is connected and they look well blended so I don't look like I have a mask. I also think it's very important that when you do your foundation, this is also almost mixed into your ear almost because the color from your ear and your face have to be the same. Thumbnail. I've been trying to work on those for a bit. The other day, I put myself to do like all my old videos, cool thumbnails. Because in my head, I'm like, if I don't have a good thumbnail, nobody's going to be pressing on my amazing videos. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Go ahead and check them out. I have like 18 videos, pretty much. I do have a little secret though, but I will literally let you guys know as time goes by. Okay, we are good to go. Okay, so now that I have the base all nice and done, I'm going to go ahead and put my setting powder. It's golden medium. That'll be like the last thing that I'm going to add. I also use this one brush because I do feel like it is a big difference from these type of brushes. This one kind of adds another texture to the face. I don't know what it is, but I still own those. I still use those, but this one just kind of helps. When I, whenever I haven't slept much, it just smooths down my under eye circles. Let's me look a little bit more put together. It's definitely a little bit difficult to work with. It's not like the usual, like, it's more like a, you have to kind of go in directions. I'm also trying in 
a new product that I got this week. My inner eyes to make them look nice and up and awake. So I'm excited for that. The next thing that we're going to do is with my shadow. So I'm going to grab my trusty shadow um, brush and we're going to go ahead and get to the palette okay so now i have my eyeshadow palette the one that i'm going to use today just a simple nice little get um so i'm going to use these three this is from Too Faced it's amazing i love Too Faced um so i'm gonna go ahead and layer down my foundation in my eyelid <laughs> I'm gonna layer down a foundation in my eyelid and i'm gonna go ahead and go in here is nice and even. Now, from the camera, I can't really do this, so I'm gonna grab my trusty, trusty mirror. Also kind of like flur out to the eyebrows. During this quarantine, it's been so difficult to take care of my eyebrows, like, I have no way to tell you how hard it is to learn how to thread from one day to the other one and to keep these eyebrows tamed, like impossible. I've always been a hairy girl. So yes, now that I've already layered a nice little foundation for our color, we're going to go ahead and go in this cashew chew. Cashew chew. And this is going to be kind of like a little starting point to the niceness that's going to come up with that nice brown almond truffle it's called so we're gonna start from the middle of the eyelid like this so we're just gonna stop where we started okay it looked pretty good the next thing is we're going to add this nice mocha color to start like the smokiness of the eye which i love we're gonna place it at the edge of the lid swiver we're not gonna go in circles we're gonna pat totally see the difference right now when we're patting okay so yes it created kind of like a little base to where i'm gonna add a nice stronger smokier browner mocha color melted is this one it's kind of like a little darker with a tiny bit of some sparkle i was gonna fall right in my eye now we're gonna start doing circles circles and we're also going to try to blend just so it doesn't look too harsh to the face other side circles and then blend so that's pretty much all i'm going to do for my eyelids i'm going to go ahead and do a little eyebrow love and make sure to set them nice and quick and i think that's it we're going to use this benefit eyebrow magic gimme brow plus i'm just gonna go to the side i'm sorry that i can't look at you guys i'm trying to look at the mirror but you know you'll see the results okay so we're done with my eyebrows literally that simple i don't really take long for anything on that eyebrow situation now we're gonna go ahead and that is all we're gonna do a nice simple looking thing also i'm gonna probably put a little bit of color up here a little bit of brightness just to pick up some like just to kind of wake it up a little bit perfect before we go any further we're gonna go ahead and splash ourselves with the last mist the same um face mist just gonna set everything because all we need to do is just put that nice little new product i got this week my lips a little blush and we're good to go this new product that i got for the inner eye, the inner eye. and it is from the brand thrive cosmetic you know i got it this week so definitely thought it was a perfect time to use it i've been seeing that you could use it either as an eyeliner or as an you know, on um, a waker upper, like in your eye in the middle. But I'm just gonna use it like really lightly because it's not like I'm gonna go anywhere like crazy. So that's all it really does. I hope you guys could see the difference. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna go in with this Benefit eyelash mascara and this 
Express Maybelline Mascara. Now, I kind of use this one at the end just to kind of like bump up whatever this is happening, what this is doing. But let's see how it goes because I also got this this week. Got a little tip. One of my good friends, she has amazing eyelashes and I told her, I asked her on the way, how do you do that with your eyelashes? And she told me, simply look down and when you kind of pass them through your eyelashes, look down and push them up. Push him up. She knows who she is, Lexi. <laughs> so that is wearing my mascara, and then we're gonna let it kind of dry out a little bit. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and separate them to make them look nice and flourishable. This mascara was okay, but it wasn't like as I'm used to, which this one's really good. So yeah, I think we're kind of done, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of um, a nice color on top of here go with a blush that i also got in my Etsy bag it's called it's from colito cosmetic and one tip i have is put your mouth like this and kind of place it on top of your cheek up and then you put it down and it's in the perfect spot you see a little funny that i'm making this face but it's for a reason. So then we're gonna gonna drag out that spareness of the blush and kind of shade it all over. Mmm, pretty. Okay, that's that. And then just to finish it all up, we're gonna grab another nice soft brush. I love this one, and we're gonna add a little bit of shimmer on top of those cheeks. And then we're gonna go in here and also add that nice little shimmer. And the nose area. Okay, for my mouth, for my lips, I will use this Lime Crime color, but not now. I have to do a little exfoliation before I get picked up. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and let go of these nice, beautiful little um, rollers. And I'm gonna let you know how I end up looking. I'm having so much trouble with my storage, but I figured it out. And I'm show you guys my little outro to this one video. What I did is I kind of ironed my bangs a little bit to give it some depth to the rest of the hair because they will go in there, they will blend, and I will do the, the next side. And what I like to do is I like to just grab that section, that one section, as you can see here, like that one section. Just do that real good. Disconnect it to hit these parts. That's gonna be my Get Ready With Me video, Night Edition. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup um, for my lips. I'm just going to go ahead and add shine. And that's it. Thank you guys.